Then we just have to fly it back to Belgium. Uh, Only one more cool person we met. And it was uh, Keish. Keish, yeah. Uh, from the moment we walked in, you it's always scary if there's one person next to you because you never know. Yeah, well, to, to, pay, to paint a picture. So we're you have a row of three seats next to mm -hmm. each other. Uh, Yorim, me, and then one other seat. And you just happens... Who, who it will be. Yeah, you never <laughs> know. So there's uh, a girl that is... Uh, uh, come in and, sex and sitting next to me, so very cool style. Yeah, and she First looked like and she looked kind of Asian uh, yeah. to me. So, um, and we noticed like there were like almost no people on the plane, mm -hmm. on the airplane, and that was actually the longest no, the longest flight because that was actually from LA to London. Yeah. So the flight from Honolulu to uh, LA was not really that special, but I mean. Uh, from LA to London, that was the longest flight, and there were almost no people there on the on the flight. Uh, but the three of us were just happened to s happening to sit, sit together. Each other, yeah. uh, so I started talking, uh, and apparently she, she's originally from the Philippines, mm -hmm. and I've been to the Philippines. So I started talking about the Philippines, where I've been before, um, and she was saying that she was going to a Taylor Swift. Uh, concert there, so that's, that's probably crazy, girl. Come on, that's th that's <laughs> crazy. For because she lives, concert. she lives in London, London, and she came all the way to LA for a concert of Taylor Swift. So definitely a Swifty in that, and, and I think that's dedication. definitely something <laughs> that I can point out for for YouTube as well, because yeah. I have some reactions to Taylor Swift that I still have to post on YouTube. Um, so we we were talking about a bit about that, but that that was kind of crazy. Uh, we added each other on Instagram, YouTube mm -hmm. as well. Um, so, and then a bit later on, one of the staff members of the of the on the airplane uh, came to say, like, guys, uh, because there's so much space, like, you can feel free to to sit somewhere else that you have yep. more space. And we're like, oh my god, this is we each had a room we're lucky of our, of our own. And yeah, uh, we had so much we, space we, in the plane, we, we had like like he said a full row for to ourselves. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, with these international flights, with these long flights, every seat has like a blanket and, and a pillow uh, and some like earbuds to to listen music to. So the thing is, because there's so ma so le so little people there, <laughs> you have a whole row to yourself. We each had three three seats, so that meant we had three blankets and three pillows too. So I mean that's the most comfortable flight I've ever had <laughs> for ten and a half hours. I think that's one of the reasons why our jet lag was okay. -ish. Probably, yeah, it could probably be one of the reasons too. Um, yeah, I mean, and then the flight from London to Brussels. I mean, that's not really like, that's not even noteworthy. It's just one hour. <laughs> 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 but yeah, that that was the whole trip to Hawaii. Whew. Man, that's the longest one so far.